Hey guys, this is Contributor19, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Roblox to Source Engine converter tool. Um, I've been working on this for about three to four weeks now, and I'm really proud to you know show it off to you guys. So let's get started. When you uh, first open up the tool, you'll notice that um, you won't be able to do anything because you don't have any game set up for it. So what I'm going to do is click the Edit button, and then you'll see this uh, screen here. Then we'll click the Add button. And what we're looking for is a, a TXT called GameInfo.txt. Um, so when you go into your Steam game directory, which is somewhere under Program Files, and um, you go to the game files, uh, you should see a TXT document here called GameInfo.txt. So uh, just open it, and then it'll automatically set up the game for you. Um, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to set it up for a uh, Source Filmmaker. So I'm going to go to Source Filmmaker, Game, User Mod, and GameInfo.txt, and hit Done. And now you can see that we can actually do some things. So you have two options here. You can compile a hat or gear, which uh, uses the asset ID of the uh, hat or gear. Um, this is the ID for the uh, perfectly legitimate business fedora, which I wear on my character. <laughs> And then you can click here, and you can input a, um, a user's uh, name, and then it'll show up on here. So let's uh, just show this off in action. Um, so I'm going to click Compile, and it's going to spit out a lot of stuff, but um, once it's done, um, it takes a few seconds, just hang on. <laughs> Okay, I think it's done now. So, we can view this in the Half-Life Model Viewer, and um, as you can see, it pulled the uh, Roblox mesh from the website and converted it into a mesh for the source for the source engine. Um, so now I'm going to do the same for um, a Roblox character. This might take a little bit longer, but bear with me in my terrible commentary, I guess. Alright, here we go. This will probably take about a minute, so uh, just hold on. Okay, I think it's done. So I'll view it in the model of compiler, or viewer, I mean. And, um, ooh, hang on. This happens sometimes. If you hit refresh, it should load. There we go, yeah. So now we have Shedletsky in here. Um, his Dominus texture's a little messed up because he's actually wearing three Dominus hats right now. But, um, if I uh, highlight the bones, you can see the model is actually rigged. So, um, I can do a bone weight. I uh, go under bones. If I select the bone, um, it'll show you that, um, each individual group is uh, separated and stuff like that. And yeah, it does all of this for you, and it's extremely easy. So uh, now that we have that compiled, let's open up Source Filmmaker, and I'm going to show you guys the um, the actual models in the Source Engine. So give me a second here. One of the things that annoy me about annoyed me about the Source Engine is that it takes a while to load. Hopefully, when the Source Two Engine comes out, it'll be a lot faster. All right, so I'm going to create a new session real quick. I'm just going to load item test. Give it a second to load, as always. Tick-tock, tick-tock. Oh, bro. 
brother. This is taking a lot. Oh, there we go. Very cool. Well, now I'm going to create an animation set for a new model. And um, this model will be our uh, Roblox characters that we made. So, let me see. Here's the hat we created. Um, as you can see, everything's loaded. You can um, pose it with the uh, motion editor and stuff. And you can insert this stuff into Gary's mod too, it's all the same. Um, I'm gonna insert... Let me see if I can find one of the characters that I made. Hmm. These are all from the uh, workshop pack that I made, actually. None of these are, seem to be the uh, compiled things that I made. Here's Shedletsky. Alright, cool. Um, let's see here. Yeah, he loaded perfectly fine. Um, if I can highlight his bones, I can uh, pose everything in his character as if it was in Roblox. Um, pose the left hip, everything's perfectly functional. Yeah, it's, it's working really well. So yeah, um, this is a really terrible um, demo of my Roblox source engine tool. Um, I stayed up all night working on this, so I apologize. My commentary was kind of weird. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.